Hello, hello, everybody. We are going to be continuing our Breath of the Wild adventures. Last time, I do believe that we finished off Vomedo, I think. But, uh, oh no, last time it was, uh, we just went around doing all the memories and doing Cass's quest. It's been a little bit since we did Breath of the Wild because Monday's stream was canceled due to family visiting, and then Wednesday's stream, I just decided to quickly do a Black Myth Wukong stream because it was new and the family visit ended around then. But, yeah, last time we did Cass's quests and brought him home and uh, got all our memories back. This time, we're going to potentially try the Korok Trials, and then also maybe find one or two extra shrines in there. But one thing that we will do before all that, as well as maybe do uh, Von Naboris, I believe. I just know it's Naboris down here. But uh, one thing that we're going to do first is we're going to do all of the shrines that we did not do la uh, from... Uh, all of Cass's quests because we just went and activated them so that we could teleport to them again but didn't actually open them up well we, we technically opened them up we just didn't go inside because I was because it was running a bit late on that stream and I just figured no we shall finish it now we also got a bit of uh, a look into what Hyrule Castle is like and uh, that place is horrifying it took so many of my arrows. So many of my arrows! But let's see what kind of uh, shrines that we skipped out on last time. Hmm. Could be a combat. Is not a combat, is instead electricity, I guess. Because that looks electrical. So this is new. Would be hilarious if that was all that it was. You activated the door. So we need a key. Alright. Oh, little fiend. Do we have any normal arrows? Not really, but we do have electric. Oh. You are weak sauce. Or is my bow just godly? This is the swallow bow! I wasn't even using my great eagle bow! Hello? How utterly weak are you? I guess we shall. Well, actually, I think we should preserve our Swellow Bow because uh, I believe that if we can take a Swellow Bow back to the guy in the Rito Village and he'll make a new Bibbidi Bow for us. I'm, I'm curious. Can I. Master Sword. Can I uh, send Light Beam? Cannot. Sadness. Guess let's see. Hi, Sarah. What about you? <laughs> then again, I probably could have just yanked it off. Magnet is probably stronger than... Fibers? What would the, uh, ancient Sheikah use for rope? How? <laughs> That's a thing. That's a 10,000-year-old rope that was hanging that up. They just do not make rope like they used to, I guess. Darn. But luckily, I cannot climb. You'd think I would be able to climb that. That's not made out of the normal Sheikah shenanigans. And this should be the key. Give unto me the key of power. Got a small key. Although now I wonder where the treasure is. 
Oh, was the treasure behind you? And I'd be like, ah, you're supposed to jump down there and get the treasure because it might be covering up a hole or something. Ah, I don't really care that much about the treasure. It's just that usually these places have a uh, hidden treasure. I'm just trying to think of, like, where they would actually hide treasure here. And the only place I can think of is covered up by the giant boulder. Like, ah, you're supposed to check that out before. Or maybe there'll be more, and this door does not lead to the monk. Or past the monk. Hello. Uh, what if I froze you? Interesting that that actually works. I shall stab you with, uh, where is it? I was using a low-level guardian spear, I'm fairly certain. I'm going blind. Oh, no, I guess I'm just using this. Poke, poke. And guardian sword, which is basically the same thing as... Apparently it's a very sturdy one. From YouTube chat, hello, hello! I am playing more Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Hmm, question is... What do I want to replace you with? Uh, I guess we'll get rid of the Spiked Moblin Club for an extra Guardian. Especially because it is very nice Guardian. Okay, so I'm going to assume... I thought that'd be more involved. This is interesting. I haven't seen any of these kinds of shrines before. I guess it kind of makes sense, I think, because, like, uh, the Gerudo area is kind of about lightning to a degree. Is that a, is that a little way? Is that a little way? No, it's just a little alcove for no reason. Huh. Weird. Well, give me your orb, old man. Give unto me your power. Ding. I'll just have to scan around. <laughs> so what are you doing today? Today we are first going to clean up all of the shrines that we activated while doing Cass's quests. Because I just wanted to activate them, do Cass's quests, and send him home uh, at the end of the stream last time. I guess I can smack that. Got a hammer. And then, after we do the uh, shrines from Cass's quests, we will then go and check out the Korok Trials. Because the uh, Korok Trials is something I've been meaning to do, and maybe we can even try the, like, uh, shrines still hidden in the, like, uh, Bobbitaba place. And I guess while I'm just out and about... Well, actually, we're just going to be teleporting to various shrines, so I don't need to get rid of my Rito Drip. But yeah, basic plan. Go to the various shrines that we did not do while just activating them for Cass's quest. Then we're going to check out the Korok Trials and maybe also check out the other shrines supposedly in the forest, if I recall. Then we're going to check out the Gerudo Desert if we have the time. What is the rough plan? Mostly because... And then, like, maybe I might check out, like, some quests I've yet to do. Because I think I need to show a normal Moblin Club to the Weapon Connoisseur and Hatino. We need to find that guy's wife who supposedly, like, could have been swept down all the way to Lake Hylia. And then there's, like, those are the one major ones that, like, snap out at me. Like, maybe we could go wake up the horse god. <laughs> Let me guess, you're from the USA? Indeed I am! No idea what my accent sounds like, come to think of it. All right, interesting. Moving in parallel. Oh, 
Oh. I think I did it by accident. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I did it. I did it. <laughs> I'm just like, hmm, I wonder what this is. And then just flail around and I did it. I'm the winner. Once again, no idea where potential treasure might be. I do see like a... Like a thing down there. But no idea how I'd get back up, really. Then again, there seems to be like a... Well, actually, no. There's something down there. Now I'm interested. <laughs> Can you try to guess where I'm from? I do not know. I'm bad at guessing things. Oh! <laughs> it's just an elevator to put you back. Great Thunder Blade. Is Magic Infused Great Sword? Hmm. Let's see, what do I might want to... Then again, we have a full inventory, and we can leave this here as an emergency weapon. <laughs> From YouTube chat, hello, hello. We are doing more shrines, then potentially Korok Trials, and then probably Gerudo Desert Time. <laughs> and wow, doing on on first try, I don't know. I just flail around, I touch the buttons. I see what they do, they click, and I go, ah, so that's how it happens. <laughs> kind of reminds me of the ball rolling maze that I just said, fuck this, flip the board and catapult the, the ball into the place it was supposed to be. On my first try. I am the god of motion controls, and you cannot stop me! Also, I just gotta say, the little sparklies in the air of this place is a very nice little detail. It makes it kind of pretty. It's kind of like bokeh sparkles. Or like whatever they're called. Onwards to you. Old monk person. Give me your orb! Give me your orb, your magnificent orb. What even is it? Was it given to you by Hylia? I don't know. <laughs> Although it would be kind of funny. It's just like, like, oh, great Hylia, I am a monk, and I am yours to command. Hold on to this spirit orb. What do I do with it? You're going to stay alive for 10,000 years and wait for a lone hero to come to you and <laughs> complete a trial for you, and then you'll give it to him. Lady Hylia, is that really the most efficient way of doing things? Are you questioning me? Yes! Die. And that is how we became a corpse. <laughs> I'll give you a tip. There's an eight-hour time difference between you and me. Yeah, that could be anything. Like, there's a decent time differences, like, even in America. Like, not terribly, terribly. I'm just trying to think. Hello, Flying Guardians of Evil. Because I'm not good with, like, even, like, the time zones. Like, the most I could think is maybe... I don't know, like... Nearer to Asia, Europe? Like, again, I'm terrible with time differences. Let's see. Minor, minor. Oh, minor? <laughs> We're gonna kill this motherfucker! He's gonna die! You're going to be murdered, little man! How dare you strafe me and do hardly anything? Um, do -do 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 -do. Poke, 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 poke. You do have a decent amount of health compared to those other minor ones that I was annihilating. Halt, freeze, and then so I can poke you again. <laughs> I just sent him flying. Or not flying, but I kind of just sent him, him sliding. It's Belgium. Ah, I would never have guessed that. Like, I know of Belgium, but I don't know much about Belgium. For I am a fool. 
Is there anything? I guess oh, another spiked moblin club can be sacrificed to grab this. Because I can always easily get a moblin club like that. Just find a moblin, kill a moblin. Like these, these probably despawn if I leave them down here. And they're not in a chest. Meanwhile, what are you gonna be? Diamond? Opal? Another weapon I'm gonna have to leave behind? A royal halberd! We're gonna keep you here. Again, emergency rations. <laughs> that was easy. Well, this is a minor test of strength. Which is hilarious considering it's right next to the, the castle. So it's just like, you'd think that this would have, like... Well, then again, who knows about anything when it comes to these monk people. Be gone, spirit man. Like, seriously, how weak do their bodies have to be for them to be like, ah, you have taken my spirit orb, I now disintegrate. Ugh. Insert Imagine Dragons uh, radioactive here. Just teleporting around, getting the orbs. <laughs> I wonder what the monks must think when Link runs up, activates the trial, and they're like, Yes, the young hero is here to pass my trial, only to turn around and go elsewhere. And they're just like, What? Why? <laughs> Come back. I wanted peace. Save me from my 10,000 year vigil. <laughs> or like... Were these here before? <laughs> like, that would almost be amusing. Like, these were built 10,000 years ago, and then, like, the 10,000 year ago hero came through and got all the spirit orbs, and then other Sheikah, like, monks were recruited. It's like, now you must become a corpse in this Sheikah tomb for another hero to come through and get orbs. We shall leave you there. Give me orb. And here I've, I have no idea why this one has just come on in. I'm trying to think, like, what, like, thing I had to do to activate this one. Because some of them are like, you did the thing, and now do more. Meanwhile, this one is just like, you did the thing, here have an orb. Onwards we go, mm, onwards we go. Across Hyrule with teleportation. Ah, it was this. It's the uh, Pond of Courage, I believe. Yeah, Spring of Courage. I call it a pond. M my bad. I inserted the pond. In rainy weather, cliffs become slippery. And that's why we have to hunt down and kill Slippy the Toad. He's the god of all this! I wonder what this one will be. I had to sacrifice a weapon, I believe, to do this. I think I sacrificed a bow to get in here. And this one is, seems to be another just, hey, roll up, roll up. I like these monks. They're the ones like, hey, you did the thing. Have. Oh. I didn't even know that these existed. <laughs> They're made with something called rubber, an ancient technology that no longer exists in this modern age. Legend of Zelda post-apocalypse. <laughs> Fool what you are. Just go up to a monk and they're like, we will give you the greatest treasure, rubber. <laughs> I need to go by. Thank you for stopping by for a little bit. And hope whatever it is you need to do goes well.
I wonder if I get, like, all of the rubber, if they'll just, like, make me immune. And you know what? I think I'll come to Tawa Jin Shrine, come down here. I'm like, should I? Hmm. Because I could think, uh, do that one, then go down here and do that one, because I think there's one there. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do. I wonder if that fifty. I can only assume that fifty-four Korok seed is like total. Would be kind of insane if I was rolling around with so many Korok seeds and I didn't even know. Be utterly insane. Now off we go to the shrine. Need to know that those Hinoxes actually do respawn, considering that they're kind of sort of tied to that shrine we just came from. Well, I guess since I'm wandering around, I should put on my sneaky clothes so I can annihilate poor creatures without them aware of my existence. Goodbye. The ultimate way to hunt. Bombs. Sucker. I don't think I need key size. If I do need key size, I can probably just go out into Hyrule Field. And Why are there so many? Like, I know it, it, it's not even midnight in the Scoops of spooks is straight out here. What the hell? Leave me alone, Skelamon. Bomb. I, I still find it hilarious that the ultimate way to get fall damage on enemies with bombs is to just... Wait, if they're on a horse, just wait, drop bomb, and send them flying. The Goblin Space Program. I guess I'll continue to use these ice arrows. I need to probably teleport around the various places. You're a heathen. Goodbye. You are Satan. Goodbye. Luckily, I'm super sneaky. They don't see nothing ever. I wonder if they, like, watch each other. need to be careful, because I don't want to, like, put out the fire. Kaboom! Ah, oh, that didn't even delete you. Liberal use of bomb arrows saves the day. I did not want to fight four, like, upper level dudes like them. No, I say. Ah, even you got... It was just a normal... The bomb explosion sent them all over the place. Just little burning patches of doom. 
And I'm stocking up on my arrows again. That's one way to get arrows, actually just go to Bokoblin places and kill them. Need to do that. Hey there, Neon. Hello, hello. We are doing some shrine cleanup from our cast question we did last time. And then we're going to see about doing... Like the Korok Trials, Von Naboris slash Gerudo area. You're horrible at charging. Get a new job. I wasn't even thinking about bombing you. That much. Whenever I see an animal, I'm always mildly going, Should I bomb him? Should I bomb him? You dare not charge me. You know your fate. Get back here, or despawn. But if you despawn, you are coward. Get back here and face your fate. Come back here and face your fate, Grand Order. Bomb. Right. <laughs> you picked the perfect time to juke me, honestly. Good job. Perfect timing. I was like waiting, and she's like, are you gonna despawn? Are you gonna despawn? And I'm like, oh, I guess he isn't. <laughs> Throw bomb. The goat decided. Yeah, you fool. I am gonna despawn. Mwah! Makes a fool out of me. But bomb hunting just works so well at saving me on arrows. Uh, strength challenge. Modest strength test. Good. All the same. You shall die. Come and face me, you modest test. I will be done with you. The one downside to doing these is I am potentially using up, like, uh, resources. Well, then again, my spear's gonna break, so... That kind of evens out to a degree. Get poked, you idiot! Ah, I got air shot! Gunshot bride! Very rude, you stop that! How oh, dare! You dare be mean! Mean to me, mean to the twink. I dodged to the wrong side. I should try my hand at dodging again. I failed. Never mind, I actually did good. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, you're gonna spin around, spin. Oh, never mind. Ha ha! I knocked him out of his spin around, spin around. Suck it, fiend! How are you gonna try again? What if I stunned you? <laughs> I'm just ruining all your plans! Damn! All his plans, and yet he still hits me. I am a fool. I am a failure! I guess I should numb on that, get it out of the way. Stop that, you! Oh, that didn't stop you. <laughs> stop it, you! Cha mm cha! -hmm. Well, then again, I should probably see. Probably use up this other claymore first, more than anything. And what will this treasure be? Boomerang, diamond, pearl, platinum. Oh, it's a knight's bow. My inventory is full. We will leave you there, because knight's bow is actually a pretty decent bow in the grand scheme of things. So we shall leave that there for an emergency bow. If we really, really need a stock up bow, that'll be where it is. Even though, huh. Oh, uh, the one problem is, I'll have to be like, I wonder which, like, uh, weapon is in this shrine.
Because I'll be like, ah, I need to find a weapon. I go down there. It's a bow instead of, like, the electro spear I thought it was. Ah, I'm a fool. I think there's, like, a, just a normal average boomerang out there somewhere. Now, let's see. I do believe that there should be a shrine... I thought there was a shrine somewhere. You dare show your face? I missed, I am a fool. Because uh, I know that there's like a shrine kind of out here in this area. Ah, you! Wonder if I can make it up here. It is kind of windy. I should have the stamina to get over there. Hell, I probably have even the stamina to make it all the way to that island. The problem is if I have, like, the air time. I think I do. We could go check out that island, too, even though that would uh, kind of borderline defeat the purpose of, like, oh, we're going to give you, like, Korok leaves and rafts so you can make your way over, and I'm just like... We're gonna fly in style. That's a Korok thing, isn't it, already there? Mm. And Lizolfo's just hanging around, because of course. Let's see how bad it is. Oh. Not gonna do that. Because I don't think I have a Korok leaf. Like, sure, I could probably smack you to get it, but I don't want to. I guess what I can do is put a Korok leaf and be like, hey, if I ever need to stock up on leaves, here's a confirmed Korok area. For some reason, my brain went, this is a certified Korok classic. Now, let's see. Kind of closed in. Will this be a combat trial again? This is just Age of the Combat Trials. Major test. Shit. All right, let's see. Let's -a go. Nothing but weapons. Neat. Get smacked. Oh. Damn it. I'm a fool. Let's see. What are we going to use against you? Well, actually, uh, you're a big bastard. Damn you. Slow down your roll. Let's see if I can do a flurry. Ha <laughs> ha! Flurry rush! Meh. 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 See? Meh. Meh. Get smacked out of it. I was gonna say if that, like. Oh, damn you! I'm gonna. Let's see. Not that, that's a bit crazy. Let's go another flurry! Oh, damn it! And you did, like, that did no damage to me. Huh. Here, I thought that would do a lot more than it did. Get smacked, idiot. Let's see. We're gonna get a spear. Do we have a spear to sacrifice? I'll just use the Guardian Sword Plus Plus. No. Are right, you gonna spin around, spin around? Oh, uh, I guess I angered him. Get smacked around a lot. Who even needs <laughs> strategy when I can just wail on him? Get out of here. 
Kaboom. And a cord. Nice. One of these days, I really should, like, go back to Hatino, uh, or not Hatino, but the Actala lab. Oh, the other climbing gear! Well, at least one other climbing gear. We still need the boots. Boots with the fur. The real question is, why the hell is it over here? The, the climbing bandana was out at the dueling peaks. Now I can get two more of anything I want. Stamina vessel. Health. I'm trying to think. Like, I don't think there'd be that many... Well, hmm. Like, maybe health? It might be nice to go a bit more on health compared to everything else. Gonna go back to my preferred armor. And then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and see if we can make it to the island. Because there has to be something on the island. It'd be hilarious if they just like, let's put an island down here. What's gonna be on the island? Nothing. Why? To fuck with them. Then again, I guess technically if I really, really wanted to, what I could do is just, like, personalize my, like, setup. So, like, if I'm gonna do something and, uh, like, I go through it once and it's like, oh, like, lots of health or, oh, lots of stamina, I could just go to the Horned Demon statue and be like, hey, I want to get a lot of health, or hey, I want to get a lot of stamina. Kind of like what I did for the Master Sword, but I don't think there's going to be many things out there that I'm going to go, I have to go and min-max my health or stamina. Who needs boats? We have paragliders. With the power of the paraglider, we can circumvent the sea. I almost don't have the stamina for this. I think I have a few stamina skewers, though. So I don't have to worry about it too, too much. Well, there's a thing here. Hear me. To you who has traveled to this island and killed my bird, you fuck. I present to you with a challenge. In your travels, you relied on the equipment you found along the way. Here, you must cast this equipment aside and face this trial with only your wits and whatever you can scavenge. Oh. Offer up the orbs to the three altars on this island. Only then will I acknowledge your skill and return your items. Oh, shit. That's kind of rude. Just like that guy, just shooting things at me. Alright, we need to find three orbs. I thought there would just... I thought this would be a... A quick 10 minute adventure. Apparently, this is gonna be a whole thing. We truly have been casted away. Well, at least we'll be able to get my. You fucker! Get out of here. You bastard. You freak. Real question, so what's gonna happen to all the items that I scavenge? Will they just be replaced? Damn it. I wanted that axe. 
there seems to be like a... I could have just done that the entire time. I didn't have to go grab it. <laughs> I forgot about that. I've never actually done that. <laughs> never actually just kicked a thing without boots before. Fire dude down here. That doesn't make sense at all. Make way. I'm here for your friend. Oh, I thought you died. I'm used to having badass of equipment. Get smacked, idiot. Now the question is, what other, like, bibbity bars? Because I know where one of them is. I'm trying to think of, like, uh... What else might be? Oh, that kills in one go. Thought that might take more. How are you so good at aim? Yeah, because now the question is... Where is the pedestal for you? I guess I could take you back to the one that I know. <laughs> first thing first, let me see if you break open. Well, that's just rude. And I think this is the first time, yeah, <laughs> first time for Electro Jelly. The next question is... There's a fucking hen ox on this island, are you insane? <laughs> what evils have you propagated? I'm sorry, there's way too many enemies on this small little island. Jerk. Cease being one. Also could have sworn that like these guys were not here before. <laughs> Destroyed all the good things. Let's see, what's in here? Normal Traveler's Sword. I do not think I'd be able to take on a Henox. Like this. Hmm. So the real question is, how the hell do I get this across? Like, I guess one way to do it is to be like, place you down, activate, and you stay. And just gently make a bridge. 
the way across. <laughs> Please don't die. I beg of you. Thank you. I did it. <clears throat> I did it. There we go. Now we need to find the other shrines. Which one will probably... Either an orb will be up there. Either orb or shrine. Like pedestal. Partly means going by the Henox. Sneaky like. You know, I just kinda had a thought. How strong is this guy? If he's like, survive on this island, idiot. Without all your stuff, I take your stuff. Gimme that. Why can't he do that to the evils of the world? Why can he only do it to me? Gib. Time to break my foot again. <laughs> I'm back. Also, are you doing the Shrine Island trial? Apparently. I thought I would just be like, oh yeah, come here, have a fun time. Uh, I did not realize that it would take away all my items. Also have to just entirely avoid the evils of the cannons of the water. I ran fast. For a moment, I thought there was going to be like a... <laughs> a stone talus just showing up behind me. No, it was just me accidentally destroying a... Poor, poor tree. Idiot. What if I threw spear? Replaced spear. Alright, so here's the one of the other. Dot. Oh, I just had a realization. Now I did. That Hinox is probably gonna have one of the diddly doos. Thunder down upon me. We'll throw rocks at the Hennox because we can. I missed. Now, now you're just being mean. Can't even make like biggity biggity bigs. Knew it. That didn't even do much damage. How dare. How did that end up behind him? That's my next question. <laughs> See, my best weapons are all electric. Not electric, but... You know. I 
have like Mitha's grace, so. So I can kind of like bomb Kayim. I think my bombs would be able to destroy his shins. Like his little shin guards. He almost kicked that back at me, which would have probably wrecked me. Also, uh, kind of uh, nice that I haven't been utterly annihilated by my like a claymore just being out and about. Maybe because the game is like, oh, you're fighting a Hinox, will be kind. Abuse the AI. <laughs> we made a Hinox come up where he was not meant to be. But all it takes is one of these bombs going off uh, where it shouldn't and I'm dead. All it takes is for him to realize that he can go forward over things, and I'm doomed. Playing around the evil. Playing around the evil. I'm fairly certain this guy could one-shot me. Oh, I knocked that off. That's a thing you can do? I, I guess he does have just like a necklace thing and I can do that, but, huh. Well, I have no bow. Well, I have bow, but I have no arrow. Please die! I have been bombing you for days! Don't you make weird kissy noises at me! I also need to be careful not to blow up the thing. Get bombed. Thank you for not rolling away. Like, too soon. There we go. And we did it. Now, obviously, the next one and probably the next, like, orb and platform are going to be up there. It'd be kind of hilarious if it wasn't. Like, this entire place is me making up for not barefoot kicking open chests in the early game. Thank God that I came here with a decent amount of stamina. I could probably have finagled my way up, but still, it's just nice that I didn't have to. What am I doing? I could just bomb half these guys. Actually, I could bomb like most of these guys. Fire trail happened. We caused so much fire. 
that it actually caused an updraft. Fool. friends. Bomb. Bomb. And chest. Huzzah. I set off an explosive barrel, sure, but I just, it doesn't feel like an explosive barrel would cause, like, that, like, line of fire. At least not usually. I figured it would stay in one place. Okay, now we gotta smack this in the right direction, and then I assume that the shrine will, like, pop up. Like, on top of the tower, maybe? Like the stone tower thing? Go flying. Now we place the final thing. So we either will end up like in the middle of the island or up there. Be kind of hilarious if it was up there because then somebody could have come up here to like get the lay of the land, go down, do everything else, and then come up here again. Have to climb all the way up. Now this had better have been the trial itself, and that shrine better be an award, you man. You've done well to complete the trial. I will now return your things as I promised. Come, into the shrine. Don't have to be so ominous about it, do you? And I don't have to manage my inventory. Of, like, bows and shields and weapons. Although it'd be kind of funny if that, like, led to a, like, inventory overflow glitch. Where you have all of the weapons and items that you gathered regardless of, like, inventory size. Considering that they, like, this is a very special shrine, that would never happen, but it's funny to think about. From Twitch chat, howdy, how are we doing today? We are doing good. We are going about doing some shrines that uh, we just left undone from Cass's quest. And then I saw one nearby, like, oh, I'll go do that one. And then I saw another nearby, oh, I'll go do that one. Then I saw the island and like, I could just fly to the island from this other one I did. And now we did the island one. <laughs> from YouTube chat, want to chat about something? I'm trying to think. What is there to talk about? Good to know that this is just a nice, you did well, here, have reward. But, trying to think, because nothing's really coming to mind. Off the top of my head. Like, nothing much. Trying to think. Hmm. I guess I'm making spaghetti tomorrow, and spaghetti is nice. I'm gonna be, because normally when I make my spaghetti sauce, I use just a can of uh, tomato sauce and then add seasonings, but uh, we're trying to watch our salt intake, so. Uh, Hello. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll finish my thoughts and then I'll go talk to you. But uh, normally I use tomato sauce, but since we're trying to watch our salt intake, we were looking at different tomato sauces and saw like, oh, tomato paste, we'll give that a try. So tomorrow I'm going to try and make my tomato sauce out of tomato paste, which will be different. 
because it'll be like extra tomatoey and like flavor, and I'll need to dilute it a lot more. But I also want to make a thicker sauce with it, so it'll be nice. Hi. <laughs> what are you doing all the way up here? <laughs> I heard there's treasure. Well, I guess technically I came here seeking adventure because I didn't know what was going to happen. I seeking adventure. You must be drawn to heights. You and I have that in common. It is only from here that I can properly hear the wind. I want to live as the wind does, free and unrestricted. To abide here and listen to its voice offers a taste of that freedom. Don't you belong to like the wind too? With all my heart. <laughs> I think we will be fast friends. I never felt such kinship with a Hylian before. Your style of wing is different than mine, but similar enough that I think you could undergo my training to become the wind. I'll do it! Uh. It lifts my spirits to hear of your keen interest. Our quad 20 rupees has set up a course for you to train. Is that acceptable? Sure. I have lots of money. You should wait here for a while while I prepare the course for you. I've never seen this before. Uh. I don't, I've never done this, so this will be interesting. That took longer than I expected. My apologies. But is ready now for you to fly whenever you are ready. I recommend the route over there. Today is a day to cast your fate of the turbulent, capricious winds. But the choice is ultimately yours. Whatever you decide, the wind will help welcome you. Oh, damn it! Da 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 da! Da 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 da! Da 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 da! Da 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 da! I'm gonna fail because I missed that one. Because I was going too fast. Also, why did all the bacoblins respawn? Hello? <laughs> Ring. Da da da. Ah. Hmm, stay there and I'll find come and collect you, my flightless friend. Darn it. <laughs> Ooh, spaghetti. I had that last night. Spaghetti is good. Spaghetti, very good. Mm. Don't you have 26 rings? Mm, very good. You take to your strange wings quite well. Mm. Here, this is for you. Oh, thank you. Are you satisfied for the day? Would you like to try more? I'll pass for now, my good friend. <laughs> yes, you are much like a cuckoo. First you fly, now you cluck. Most intriguing. I look forward to seeing you again. Very interesting that they have, like, this little thing here. That you could just miss. But onwards we go, because we still have... Oh, I never did activate you because I went to talk. Ah, well, that's going to be a small ball to get to. I do believe. Let's see. Well, Neon, do you know about Pokemon having a manga or book series? I think, like, really early on, like, in the anime's production, well, not production, but, like, airing, they also had the original, like, main writer of the anime, uh, Shudo, write a few books that are very, very weird. Like, very, very weird in his, like, head canoning of how the po world of Pokemon functions. And as for manga, I know that there's a few. There's, like, the Electric Tail of Pikachu, I think. Then there w there's the one that's more of a comedy manga where, like, Clefairy is very expressive and is, like, part of, like, uh, I guess technically Red's team. And then I think there's an ongoing, like, uh, like an ongoing, like, series that's, like, kind of its own thing, almost. Don't even know what that did. I guess I need the block to do that. <laughs> but it just has, like... Horrifying, horrifying, horrifying things. Like an Arbok being cut in half. And 
There's like a myriad of just horrifying things. Zombie Pokemon. Yeah, there's just like a lot of things in the Pokemon anime. Oh, and now I need the block. Presumably. Let's see if I hit it. If it'll stay open or if it needs... Concern didn't do da-da-da-da. Yeah, that's what I figured. All right. So well. Get you activated. I go try to activate you again if the block to save on arrows. I could have used the treasure chest. I don't need the block. I'm an idiot. Well, presumably. It would be hilarious if I got over there. It's like, psych, you do need the block, you idiot. But it's made of metal. So I presume. <laughs> There's an interesting fact from the Pokemon manga. I have seen somewhere online the discussions of Mewtwo wields a powerful spoon. Yep, I do believe that that is uh, true. I am annoyed that they have this be in the way. Well, fine game. I'll just use a bomb arrow. Jerk game. Give me your orb. Give me the orb. It is kind of funny to imagine and just like look at the various manga art of Mewtwo wielding a giant spoon. But I guess it kind of makes sense. It's supposed to be like the ultimate psychic Pokemon and there's Alakazam wielding spoons. Why not give Mewtwo spoons? The power of spoons, the power of spoons. Now we're going to head over there to try, because uh, I never activated this one, because I think I was very annoyed by the puzzle, because it was raining, and it was one that would have very much benefited me to be able to climb easily. So I was just very much cursing the rain the entire time that I was just doing it. So I forgot to activate it, mostly because Cass disappears if you enter the like uh the shrines so you have to talk to him before you activate them and me just like not going into them messed with my like flow we will fly down over the way Magnetize the goat. Become Magneto. That would be kind of funny if I could just latch like metal onto enemies and then fling them around like it's freaking Force Unleashed. That would be funny. But speaking of Pokemon, I need to decide when I'm going to do my next, like, series run-through of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Because earlier this year, I did a almost full run-through of Explorers, Gates to Infinity, and uh, Super Mystery Dungeon. Mostly because I had finished a playthrough of Rescue Team... Like, not terribly long before that. 
But that was also before I had a proper, like, schedule. So now that I have a schedule, I need to decide when I want to do, like, series playthroughs. Because I love, 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 love Myster Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. I have to always catch myself and not say just Mystery Dungeon, because Mystery Dungeon is technically a series that exists beyond Pokemon with various other, like, uh, tie-in games like uh, Chocobo's Mystery Dungeon, as well as uh, just, like, original Mystery Dungeon games. Uh, which, speaking of, I do hope that next year there's, like, uh, something for Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, because next year is going to be the 20th anniversary of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Because the original Mystery Dungeon, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, released in 2005 on the Game Boy Advance and DS. I forget if there's, like, a major delay between them, but I do remember that it's like a dual release because the DS could take advantage of uh, Game Boy Advance, like games with its bottom slot. But I just do wonder what it could possibly be that they could do for Pokemon Mystery Dungeon's 20th anniversary, if they even do, because I would assume that due to how, like, the, like, rights and copyrights work, I wouldn't be surprised if the original developers of Mystery Dungeon have to be involved, uh, Spike Chunsoft. Especially because they're pretty busy lately. Because I think Spike Chunsoft is overseeing a decent handful of games. With, like, the big, big, big one being, like, uh, Dragon Ball Z Sparking Zero. It's actually coming out later this year, if I remember. I've seen good things about it. Not sure if I'll get it myself, mostly because I just have nobody to play online games with. And going online against strangers would probably be a terrifying experience. But who knows? It is nice, though, that, like, the sparking series of Dragon Ball slash Budokai Tenkaichi is getting a new entry after many, 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 many years. I know some people are complaining that it doesn't have, like, a full local mo multiplayer. It only has a local multiplayer on a single map, the Time Chamber. But then again, for me, I have nobody to play with locally anyway, so... Doesn't hurt me. <laughs> Not Dragon Ball Z Sparking Zero, it's just Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. I guess that makes sense, because it's kind of multiple eras of Dragon Ball, not just Z. It's just, in my mind, it's always like, yeah, Dragon Ball Z. Because like all the other ones that I know of are Dragon Ball Z, Budokai, Tenkaichi. One, two, and three. And then there's the Dragon Ball. I forget if like the dra if the Budokai series, not Tenkaichi, are the same things. If it was just Dragon Ball Budokai or Dragon Ball Z Budokai, because I do know that the Tenkaichi series is Dragon Ball Z Budokai. Is it? Could be. I'm wrong on that. Brain just auto slots in Z whenever Dragon Ball is there. Brain just auto does it. Z is just too powerful. Which is extra funny because technically, if I remember, the manga was always just called Dragon Ball. Like, once you got into the Saiyan saga, 
it was still just Dragon Ball on the manga. It was never called Dragon Ball Z, which is extra funny to me. And I do believe that that will be the final shrine that we, like, uh, haven't... Like, that we activated... Well, I guess technically that one we didn't activate, but we were aware of. Then I guess we shall head to the Korok Trials. Well, actually, first things first. We will head to... Where are you? We will head to Zora's Domain so that we can activate the statue, get a few hearts. I think hearts, because I think my stamina is doing good. Then again, mm, uh, one heart, one stamina. I'll just alternate from here. That's what I'll do. Because it's kind of hard to decide which one do I do. Because I don't really need too much more stamina. And I also don't too much need, like, uh, hearts either. Mm. Yes, hello. Did you need something from me? Here are the stones. More luminous oh. stones for you. Thank you. You're really giving me ten luminous stones? In that case, please excuse me while I count oh. them. And a one, mm. and a two, and a oh. three, four, five, oh. six, seven, oh. eight, oh. nine, oh. and ten. Oh. oh my, you really brought all ten. Thank you. I will happily take these luminous stones from you. And that's right, I must reward you. You're a lifesaver, mm. truly. If you ever find yourself in possession of ten luminous stones in the future, I hope you bring them to me. Most indubitably. I just need to remember where the... Ah, the statue's right up here. And we also need to try and find that poor guy's wife. I will take one heart... Oh. I think uh, she asked me if I wanted to... Oh, nope, she only one. Felt like there was uh, quite a few, like, text boxes going through. Just for one. And a stamina vessel. <laughs> From Mewtwo chat, why does Mewtwo have a big spoon in manga story? Well, Mewtwo is a psychic type, yep. And as I said... Kadabra is because uh, bending spoons is a cliche ability with the, about users of magic, si well, not magic, psychic power. Blech. Brain is reading badly today. Although that does make me wonder where the idea of bending spoons being a psychic thing came from. Like, where the first real, like, association with bending spoon and psychic power came from. Because it seems kind of odd. And you'd think it could be, like, anything. I guess it's because metal and a spoon is a daily household item. So metal spoons being bent is just, like, interesting. Oh, we can also turn in that uh, bloopy quest. As our frames just die. I believe it was you. Oh, Mr. Hero, did you bring it for me? You can hardly see it, but that's a bloopy. Wait a minute! Is that a real bloopy? How <laughs> oh, it's even more beautiful than Peaks imagined! Thank you so much, Mr. Hero. Now I'm content. Oh, and here's a little thank you gift Peaks didn't forget. Thank you. You're shooting arrow at a bloopy. I hear they drop lots of rupees if you hit them. Oh man, I'm so glad I got to see you so oh, something so cool. Peaks is so happy right now. Why do you swap between I and your name? Us Koroks all got together and prepared some trials just for you, Mr. Hero. Although you may not need them since you already pulled the Master Sword out and all, but these trials will help you grow even stronger than you are now. And among them is an extra tough one designed by me, the Elder of Korok Forest. So will you test your medal? I'll do it. You know, if you keep doing everything everyone asks of you without question, you're going to get conned eventually. Anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, the Korok Trials. Long story short, you need to visit all the shrines in the Korok Forest so that you can be considered a real grown-up. Trial 1 in the Southwest Forest Trial of Second Sight. Trial 2 
in the northwest forest, the lost pilgrimage, trial three. In the eastern forest, the test of wood. If you can overcome the Korok trials, you can overcome anything. We've also prepared some wonderful prizes for you. Now show us what you're made of. All right, do your best. Interesting. Oh, what, 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 what? I was walking up his beard. What, what happened? Why new cutscene? What's this? A voice beckoned you here. I see, so the time has come. Oh, uh, uh, I forget. Were we told to go here by Zelda? I forget. I shall now tell you all I know about the arduous trial that awaits you. That sword you have reunited with, the so Master Sword, it has yet to realize its true splendor. This trial shall test your courage to ensure you are worthy of this splendor. It is called the Trial of the Sword. It will challenge you as you have never been challenged before. The Koroks are adorable when they're not messing around with my soul. All of your weapons and armor will be sealed away. You must face your enemies without tools you've come to rely on. Once you have tempered your soul and proven your wisdom and courage by completing the trial of the sword, the master's sword shall truly be yours. Hmm, unless my eyes deceive me, you seem quite willing to take on this trial. A hero through and through. Now, Link, place the Master Sword in its pedestal. I didn't mean to activate this. I was walking up his beard. According to the Great Deku Tree, challenge the sword by placing it. Okay. But I want to do the. Ba ba ba. The Korok Trials first. First things first, I want to see what's in here, because I thought this was going to be the way to the Korok Trials. That's apparently not it. They just sell various things here. I like that even these guys have things to sell. I'll take them all! Oh, they, they opened up this place just for me. You're my only customer, so if you want to buy or sell something, just let me know. That's funny. <laughs> so there's three more trials up in here. Might as well do them. And then maybe we'll see about doing the sword trial. Wander around, wondering which way is the true way. Because I, I don't think they let you just climb up the walls. Well, maybe we can try that. Now that we're like in the like main place, maybe they'll allow that. No, I don't think so. They do not like it. They do not like it when you try to cheat. And the real question is, how the hell do I even get there? This doesn't really seem to be direct paths to it. Maybe I have to leave through there and then go around. But I don't have a torch. Then again, I guess we'll probably just go to the beginning, get a grab a torch. I do find it funny that the Koroks 
are good at disappearing. You see them on the horizon, then they just disappear. You there, Korok. A Hylian seeks to attempt the Korok trial. Is that even allowed? Who cares? Are you here to attempt the, my Korok trial? Of course. Oh, wow, you really want to try it? I guess it's worth asking after all. Let me tell you about the trial. All you need to do is keep going and not get lost in the mist. Easy, right? What's wrong? You don't look very excited. But don't worry, I've got a cryptic little hint for you. The hungry trees will show you the way. Spy their iron to win the day. Spy their iron. Did I make that sound cool? Think about that as you take on the trial. So, the hungry trees, their iron win the day. So maybe head towards smiling trees with iron and ignore ones without? Their iron will win the day. Maybe just keep going. Nope. Aha! You can't catch me. So kind of, sort of. Nope, you can't get me. I'm just trying to find the iron in the trees. There doesn't seem to be any. Ah, there's one. Like, in a way, <laughs> just kind of sort of walking in, but then if the music gets more intense, running back is kind of the strat. Ah, there's more. There's another one. There's another one. And another one over here. So aside from that little hiccup, well, that's just rude. Meant to more. Oh. Oh. Why are there bacoblins in this place? Feed me the aged shield guarded by the monsters eternal. My brother will repay you in kind. Was it with the good guys utilizing, like, the ancient dead. There you go. That's, that's oddly amusing. I wonder if I have to use the... Like the diddly D, or if I can just top cross like I normally do. Well, there is a Korok diddly D here. Is there anything that I'd like to throw? Hmm. Don't mind me, just breaking the rules. That's odd. 
Yeah, because you glow in the dark. How are you a stealth pick? Place, please place my chest in my mouth. The shield eater's brother stole it from me. That's that's amusing. Does that mean that you're gonna get angry because I uh, partook in the stealing a bit? Are you gonna be angry at me for taking your treasure too? Don't you worry, Mr. Tree. Here it is, all but empty. Technically, you just asked for the chest, not the things inside it. Like, does that mean that all the Koroks have done the, this challenge? Or do they just get to this part, let the shrine go back down, and then be like, I did it, even though they only did it part way. Well, let's see. Will the shrine have more for me to do? Or was all the wandering around the real reward? Ah, oh, seems to be a normal... You did it, now you win. What'll the treasure be? Nice! Give me your orb! Yep, ba da da da. Onwards we go. I wonder if this will just place me back in the fog-ridden forest, or if it'll teleport me back to the big guy. I'm still here in hell. The real question is, how do I get to those ones, then? Let's -a go. As we try to find our way there. I still want to know why the EX sword like thing activated when I was just walking up his mustache. Do 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 Onwards to this trial, I guess. Make way, Korox. I wonder how old the Korox can live. Going alone? I don't know. Oh, you, you're Mr. Hero, right? You're gonna do the Korok trial, yes, yes? <laughs> I knew it. I'd like to ask you a favor then. My little Oki just now set off to do the Korok trial. Normally I'd go along too, but Oki insisted on going alone. I let Oki go, but, well, I'm just getting worried. Could you please follow Oki without being seen? I want to be sure nothing bad happens. Now we must follow the young lad. I guess I should put on my sneaking clothes for this. The real question is, why would you even have a... Like, semi-dangerous... 
Oh, where'd you go? I can hardly see you myself. Like, maybe I'm being a bit too, like, far away. <laughs> maybe I need to change my, like, brightness if I can from here. I don't think I can. Which is a little odd. Could they not have given this guy a brighter color palette to, so he wouldn't blend in with the grass. At least to me. I quickly changed a thing on my monitor. It has an emulated HDMR or not HDMR but like HDR setting. I turned it off so I can kind of see him more. more on me than the game. Why would you investigate? Do not fear, small Korok. It is I, your guardian Hylian. Pretty flowers. Yay! Only halfway there. Pain. I wonder if they'll be mean and be like, oh, he turns around right at the end. If I can just cut through. That'd be a mean time to do it, because I decided not to go through. This is a big, wide-open area. You see nothing, because I am very sneaky. You are a ghost. You're a tree spirit. Immediately forgot about the ghost. Even though you are the ghost, you're a spirit. Don't worry, small child. I will hunt you before the ghost does. At least nobody else can hear my Sheikah Slate going bleepy to bleep. If you're not scared, why do you need to tell yourself that? Me just <laughs> running commentary on this poor young tree spirit's fear. Oh, wolf. Why, why is there a wolf here? Like, what do I do? I lost track of the kid. All because of that damn wolf. Damn it. I think I'm gonna fail. Because I don't know where it went. Ah, there we go. Thank you for screaming, small child. That wolf almost ruined everything. Why would they place that there?
Don't you do a mean, like, turn around at the last moment. Like, now what do I do? Do I go up and talk to you, or would that ruin everything? I will try to activate the shrine without him seeing. You see nothing. I activate this instead. And now I talk to you. Yeah. I made it. I finished the trial. <laughs> what? Who's there? Hey, are you that hero guy? You know, Mr. Hero? Guess what, Mr. Hero? I did the trial all by myself. Aren't I brave? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're probably here for the shrine. The great Deku Tree said the monk's blessing is waiting in the shrine ahead. Why don't you go take a look? Good. I was just slightly worried that the game would be me and then go, Haha, he saw you right at the end, you fool. Which would be very, very mean. The Korok Trials have a charm of doing weird missions, but in a fun way. That's also true. And another, you did it, here have reward. Wonderful being here. Ah, an ancient core. The last one gave me a big ancient core. You're skimping out, monk man. Monk man. Skimper of the reward man. Do 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 do. For some reason, I'm reminded that one of these days, I'll really need to play Earthbound. And then subsequently, Mother 3. Funnily, I heard about, like, uh... I was watching uh, these good videos from a channel, I think, called Moon Channel. It's, uh, run by a lawyer guy. Who, like, uh... Blah, blah, blah. I'm trying to think of the wordings. But, like, he... Like, uh, just likes to talk about various... Things like including like video game topics. And one of them, like, was around like I think why Nintendo is so strict in protecting its IP and copyright. And somebody in the comments, like, uh, recalled a small story surrounding the Mother 3 fan translation that supposedly, I'm not sure if it's true or not, but according to this person, that uh, when the fan translation was almost ready to go, the uh, somebody contacted the person making the fan translation saying, please don't release this. Your fan translation is of such a good quality that if you release it, the real Mother 3 by Nintendo may never be made. Or, like, released in English. And according to the story, there was, uh, never any follow-up from that person. The creator of the fan translation just like, yeah, right, that's stupid. And released it, and never heard from that person again. And at the same time, Mother 3 has never been translated into English. Like, on the one hand, it does sound kind of silly... But from an IP and copyright, like, direction, I wonder if there would be legal problems, or, like, potential legal problems, if Nintendo tried to make a super faithful Mother 3 translation, if, like, the fan translation was also super faithful. Like, there's potentially issues of that. A hero guy was told you'd be coming. But do you really think you're ready for the test of wood? Some say it's the hardest of the Korok trials. But it's not complicated. All you need to do is equip the Korok's weapon set and reach the shrine at the back of the area. Are you ready to try it? <laughs> All right, go get him. If you, you have to keep the sword, bow, and shield equipped the whole time. If they break or you unequip them, you're out. Huh? Your inventory's full. You need to make some space for the sword, shield, and a bow before you can get started. Mokey doke Well, I have room for that. So it's really just this. Guess I will drop the knight's bow. 
I say yes again, just to make sure there's anything else you gotta say. But as for that little story I heard from the comments of that one video, not sure if it's real, but it could be. It could just be a, like, internet, like, urban legend, but who knows. All I have to do is reach the shrine in the back of the area. Off you go. I wonder if I can use bombs. Three, two, one. Because all it says, I need to keep them equipped. Yep. So I can use bombs. <laughs> at least they're not made of metal and they aren't throwing electro keys at me. That'd be very mean. Yep. Who needs weapons? Yep. I have bombs. Bomb is the ultimate weapon! Oh, hey, an arrow. Nice. Ah! Pain. Apples and arrows. Apples and arrows. Get blown away, little man! No one loves you! Technically, I don't even have to fight these guys. I just need to make it to the end. Oh, fire keys. <laughs> what is this nightmare? Everything's coming for me! Please, I just want to kill this skeleton. Yep. So I can then... Oh, that's mean. Get out of here. Because now I need to use this to get by. Game, you're being mean. I see through you. And I hear squishy squishing of the another one. Which is kind of mean. Does it send me back to the end? That'd be rude. Very rude. Just respawn me right there. It's not like I unequipped things. Those enemies better not have respawned, at least. I killed them. Maybe that's there to be like, so people don't cheese this somehow. That's entirely possible. That's not what I wanted. Just have to kill this guy. I didn't last time. Get out of here. At least I guess I didn't last time. Ah, and there's also a different way this way. Presumably. Interesting that there's different paths. I like that. So you were that fiend. Yes, you were that fiend. So many keys coming for me. 
I wonder if I can just destroy this. I still think that there's a bothersome degree of enemies up in here. Where even are you that you're trying to attack me from? Probably you. Oh. That's not nice at all. That's very rude. The dead bodies should not launch them at me. It's so rude. He's so rude, I swear. Can I climb you? I can. Granted, it doesn't look like there's much reason to. So it seems to be potentially a dead end. I see you. I'm here to kill you now. Now that you don't have any electro keys saving you. You big old jerk. You big old jawak. Although I guess technically there is this way. Who needs that way when I can just climb? Who needs fire? I have a climbing. I guess while we're here, I'm gonna go ahead and nom one of these just so that I don't die. Sure, there's a treasure chest, but I don't really care. Yep. Be gone, Satan. Okay, you need to be taken out. You are too much of a threat. Hmm, I wonder if there's anything... Doesn't seem like it. Just had to give it a... Well, now that, that island's now on fire, and I don't want to risk burning my wood items. But I can risk doing this. Ha-ha! <laughs> Go! I haven't touched the ground yet. Congratulations! You've passed the test of wood! Well done, Mr. Hero. Happiness awaits you at the shrine! Oh, yeah. If you ever want to do the trial again, just let me know. See ya. Happiness awaits me in here. Like, what'll that be? Super duper award and spirit orb? Down we go. Down we go, oh oh, to get another reward. Another giant ancient core. That other one only gave me a normal ancient core. Cheapskate. Now we've done it. We've done all of these here Korok Trials. And now I guess we can teleport to Zora's Domain again, get another heart container since we're alternating now. And then we'll go and see about the Trial of the Sword. Since we might as well. Come down here. Get a heart container, then trial of sword time. Trial of the sword. Trial of the sword. Perfect dodge. The thing I need to do more of, but kind of suck at. Because I'm more just like, why dodge when you can bomb? One thing I really do like about this game is just the sheer amount of armor sets there are. I guess I should really try to talk to people. Let's see. 
Is your name, do you end in sun? No, Rega. I forget, I think you guys want to talk to me or something. Oh. Lenny, thank you for a piece of the divine beast. He used to, let's see, I'd say you're welcome. Huh. That said, I can't find my daughter, Finley. I've looked everywhere. When we last spoke, oh yeah, I think, I want to find a prince of my, oh, mm -hmm. I thought there was a different quest that I completely forgot about. I wonder if she's on her way to the Bank of Wishes again. I don't know where the Bank of Wishes is. Like, where would that be? Wait a minute, a great fairy fountain? Did we do you? I presume that we did. Because we got two. But Bank of Wishes. I don't see it marked anywhere, so maybe I just haven't visited it? Maybe that's how it works? No idea what that is, so... Unlisted thing can't help there. We still need to do that quest of finding that guy's wife, who presumably got washed down river. Heart container. Yes. Give me a heart. Heart container. Give me the heart, the power container. Ding. Now we'll head back and do the sword trial. Choo-choo's will explode when attacked. Try throwing something at them from a safe distance, like a child. Well, first things first, we'll save, then we'll put the Master Sword in. And see about doing this here quest. I guess less quest and more just like... Trial, yeah. What if I tried to trick it and put a different sword in? That's kind of interesting. Where do we even teleport to? It seems like it more just scattered me to ashes. Well, let's see. Because I think I did the sword trial in my first playthrough that I never fully beat. To the blade's chosen hero, in the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer the trial of the sword. You presently lack the power necessary to wield the true splendor of the master sword. You must fortify your mind, body, and soul by eradicating all obstacles that appear in this realm. In this illusory realm of sacred mystery, anything can happen. All that you obtain here will be lost upon your return to the reality you know. Chosen hero of the Master Sword, overcome the trial of the sword and claim the sword's true sword. Luckily, I have slate power. No, no bug. Kaboom. Like there's like a boxing bell. Ding, ding, ding. You did it. You won. You killed them all. You murderous bastard. Give me resources, I need resources. Yeah, 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 yeah. I need resources, I need resources. 
Just want to make sure there's nothing up in these trees. Aha! I see something. It's an egg. I can use you. Oh, that's not an egg. That's a bomb. Kaboom. Well, let's move along. It would be hilarious if that was it. You blew up three bokoblins. You know, know the true power of the sword. Underground floor two. I'm here to kill you. No. How am I supposed to get up there? I'll beat you to death with this brand. Oh, you don't even drop anything. My elixirs! Why are you just blaring? I'll kill you for this. Stop blaring. How does that work? Why did why sneaking good so much? Bad you? I guess I can climb that tree and glide on over to him. Surprise! I'll come for you soon. Whoa! Give me your shirt, you vile fiend! <laughs> By spinning around, I delayed the activation. I am a god. I do kind of like that they give you a bunch of rocks in case players, like, got into the habit of throwing rocks at enemies rather than bombs. I don't like this open area. I do see a treasure chest, though. I'll just shoot you. Come over here, I need to get this. Then again, I guess I could probably... Maybe make it? Nope. I need to lure him over. Yeah, come over here. Burn things over here. Almost. More over this way. I need this treasure chest. And then I need to go get that one after, I, after everything. Aha. Well, since you two are all the way over here. Huh. I just need to lure these guys. At least one of these guys over here. Yes, follow me. Become my airlift. Become my lift of air. I mean, technically I got the fire arrows, so I could burn it down if I wanted. Darn it! There we go. My leg! Hilarious. I guess that's also another way I could have done it. Just, like, lure them over and then... Why are you over here doing it? Kabeem! Oh, it's, uh, it gets worse. Oh, 
Bob did it. Onwards we go. Go onwards we onwards. Yep. I'm not scared of you. I shall attempt to climb up and rain down upon them like the might of God. Might of God, that's bad. Bombs there. Fall damage. I headshot him and he exploded. Dad, who damaged to me? those weapons and shields that those guys fell off with. Especially these. There you are. Ah, more arrows. Always very good. I don't see anything else of where hidden treasure might be, so onwards we go. Okay, so a moblin and a skull cavern. These guys, yep. bombs should be the way to go. Yep. And then I can blow those guys up in there. While they're unsuspecting. While they're unsuspecting. That their lives soon ending. An arrow flies across the skies. Bringing their demise. <laughs> oh, interesting. We got more things. Onwards we go. I probably should have looked around if there were treasure chests up high, but I didn't think about that. I am a fool. A foolish fool. A stone tower. Why would you do this to me? All right. Climb, climb, climb! Bastard! Climb. Please. Yeah, 
Okay, we missed that. See how the carbon club. Very rude that they throw a stone talus in here. Okay, I guess uh, stick. Cause it's almost about to die. Oh, there's bombs. There were bombs. And I just didn't use them. <laughs> I now look off to the side and go, Oh, there's bombs I could have used. To deal more damage. Well, I guess that proves I didn't need to use the <laughs> bombs in there to do it. Just had to sacrifice a few things. Ooh, chests and being able to cook. Rest area. Very nice. Beginning trials. That implies that there's more than these trials. An eightfold blade. That's nice. Almost surprised that I haven't, like, run out of space yet. Guess it's kind of a good thing I've <laughs> smashed up a bunch of my weapons. I'm here, armored carp. You cannot escape me. Oh, darn it. No. I needed you. And they make it run away. That's stupid. I can't sneak up on that. They should be special, like, docile ones. Rude. Now, let's see. Should do this. So if we run something very scary, we can do that. But well, really, we should probably just pick up most of our like. Stuff like Mighty Banana. There we go. So we have some armor and we have some attacking. We don't have a full heal because game is mean and put a fairy in here that can run away. Kind of analyze this area. Suck it. Mine. I'm so used to them dropping weapons, or like uh, dropping items upon death. Game. 
Now we need to make it over there. And then I hit myself like a fool. No, I'm gonna die. I guess probably should do that. That's very rude. You dash be on me. How about you get bombed? Give me all your items. They all belong to me. Every last one of them belongs to me. Now I just need to make sure that I don't just go in and stink and drown. Because that'd be a way to end things. It's like, yeah, I beat them. I won the day. Drowns like a fool. We could probably speed up so I can get the most out of my defense up. <laughs> So this is all going to be water. Water, 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 water. Very rude. Need to be careful of that guy. One dip in the water with him and I'm dead. in here more arrows really what I do need here he's a big bad big bad boy get smacked get smacked I guess I might as well try this. Did a lot of damage, at least. Die! Die, fiend! And now this lightning rod is mine. We will lightning everyone to death. That'll be handy against other, like, water area monsters. Ha. Why is there a bomb thing over there? Your friends cannot immediately help you. And I threw you into the water. Not my total intention. Hmm. 
Bomb. 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 Oh, that's not good. I have to be very careful of these guys because they're high level. I mean, I guess I could try and try the lightning rod. I haven't used these. This is an annoying trial. Get out of here. Leave me be. I think in all this chaos, that other one just died. Super closer to the bomb. If only the wood wasn't there, he'd be dead. I will bomb you for eternity. I didn't even get to keep most of the weapons here. Spear. What's up? I mean, I guess I could have gone up there where the bombs were. That's a potential thing. over there so we can blow them up Let's see if there's any treasure in you because I don't think I have anything that's really good for like just breaking them arrows are very welcome I'm gonna back just just in case. I want to take undue damage. And at these ones, we'll just smack them with my woodcutter's axe. This is basically just telling me use bombs. I'm gonna check out this platform just because I can. Yeah, it just seems to be bombs, so that's not good. I just want to get on out of the water. And I do believe that's enough scavenging for me. On to the next place. Oh. 
Now this is on fire. I do wish that there was like a... Like proper... Get smacked, idiot. I don't think there's much good use diving down there for all the stuff. Fool. I don't like the evil sounds that are playing above me. There's a very evil sounding thing above me. I do not like the deep breathing. It's probably just a moblin, but... Oh yeah, just a moblin indeed. Let's see, what's my heaviest hitting thing currently? Please don't turn around. Let me sneak attack you, or else I'm doomed. Hey, freeze! We did it! I need to freeze things more. Even if they only last a little itty bitty bitty bit. Weapons are far more important than other things currently. Let's see. Now we'll use... I'm keeping the axe around primarily for busting open resource boxes. Which it does it handily. I was mostly worried through all of that if the diddly d fire arrow guys would burn my raft to the ground. And I see a treasure chest. Alright. Thought I'd be able to make it. Wind said no. Luckily, you're made of metal. Would have been very mean of them. Would have been very mean if they just went, yeah, you just can't get this. It has the Master Sword in it. That'd be amusing. Here's this basically impossible to get to chest. It has the Master Sword in it for this challenge. And I still don't have any armor. Onwards we go, Woods. I wonder how many trials there are up in here. Brain says probably a hundred. Oh! Well, I guess they were giving me a ton of arrows. I uh, 
I don't see... Well, there is a treasure chest over here. Where is that chest? It looks more like a box. Why oh, they give me a box? Does it hold resources? Or can I smack him with it? You know what? Oh. He does- oh, no, he does care. your lips at me, you freak. You want a maniacal monster? Oh, he's enraptured by the tree. Freak what he is. No. Should throw more bombs in. We also need to be careful because... Why do you lock on to his armored thighs? Bomb. <laughs> How do you use my, like, best weapon against him? But I, we did it. Now might as well see what's in you. More arrows, that's a singular arrow. I'm gonna leave this, uh, I say leave this place, but well, by the end of these trials, I will have more arrows than I do in real life. Gonna assume that that Hinox was the before rest area monster. Oh! 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 Huh? Wah? To the one chosen by the Sacred Blade, I commend your efforts in this trial. You are now strong enough to wield more of the Master Sword's power than ever before. Also, there's tears to this. Courageous hero, chosen by the blade. Take hold of the master sword. Neat, then we can just like do this in spurts. We don't have to do it all in one go. I like that a lot. So there's like three sections. I think we did 10 there, so there's probably like 30 overall levels. Maybe. But that's very cool. I thought we'd be there for a while longer. But I wonder what kind of upgrade my sword got there. Yeah. Mm. Oh, 
Now you finally returned. You look stronger than when I last saw you. The master sword you wield is now more powerful than before. By ten more damage, which to be fair, is actually quite a lot. <sighs> if you desire still more power and wish to retry the blade's test, once again place the master sword at its pedestal. Huzzah. I think that will be that for that section. What we're gonna do next is we're going to head down to Gerudo Town. And see how things are go. First things first, we're gonna talk to like all the people. Well, I guess check out the stable because I don't think we really checked out the stable all that much because we were on a time crunch last time. And then we're going to head to the bazaar, talk to everybody at the bazaar, and uh, see about getting in. Now I have a stronger master sword. Yo, beetle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow, you came in the middle of nowhere in this weather just to see me. This area gets super hot during the day, but I won't fall to the heat. What are you looking for? Or are you selling? <laughs> I'm sure I have something you're looking for. Are you sure about that, wow. you little man? You little man, man. Actually, I, I'm not going to. I can just wait for the Korox tree stock. I think they're a better deal. But now I will take these. And I guess we'll take some hardy lizards too, why not? <laughs> Goodbye, Beetle. I pull out my sword and prepare to kill him. Hey, did you happen to see any of my friends? There are four travelers named Ole, Flaxel, Canolo, and Palmy. I don't know. We were all walking together when some monster suddenly jumped us near the Cocut Plateau Path. I took off running and didn't stop until I got here. Thought my friends were right behind me. When I turned around, they were nowhere to be found. You don't think the monsters could have... No, they're fine. They'll be back in a second now. Hey, if you happen to run into any of my friends on the road, please let them know Sesame is waiting for them here. I don't think this game is that dark to actually kill off people in that way. Or, or at least not to be like, oh, you can find their bodies. Uh, buddy... Got any rush rooms? What's the matter? Uh, See, I, I'm tired, and I need natural okay, cocaine. Tired of going normal speed, I mean. I first tried rush rooms when I was five years old. And going to think of it, I ate them every day since without fail. Back in the day, I'd win every race I ran thanks to those things. Uh, Cut to 55 years later. I can barely drag these bones off the ground without those rush rooms. But no matter how many I eat to fortify myself, I'm just too old to get the cliffs to pick mushrooms where they grow. Ah. That's why I'm letting my all able our body sorts know that I'm looking in I'm in the market for them. I'll give a diamond for 55 mushrooms. That's worth the effort, right? If you want to do business, just come talk to me. I'm always here. I don't think that's really worth it for a diamond. Do, do, do. Guess I might as well use this till it breaks and I can always go back to Rito Village and get it restocked. Because I have diamonds and a swallow bow. I don't need to. I'm long. I am invulnerable. I do like the heat haze effect they have there. Savak. <laughs> Savak, mm. if you're searching for Kalissa, legendary treasure hunter, oh yeah, we already talked to you. Ah. I think I need to get under, like, shade, and that might actually have effect on it. That nah, doesn't look <coughs> like it. Let's see, do we have anything that... I don't think so. 
I don't think we have anything that... Oh, wait, we do. Crucial for long journeys through the desert. Let's go ahead and drunk. I did it. I'm now heat resistant. The sun can now fuck off. It would be neat if the shade from passing clouds actually had an effect on the weather system. But we should be on alert, just in case. If you're thinking of going anywhere near, you should definitely be careful too. Gerudo Town. Oh. Gerudo Town is to the southwest. It's the biggest town in the area. It's famous for trade and also for staying active and vibrant all night long. However, there is a law forboding vo males from entering the city. Well, goodbye. Oh. The desert is incredibly hot so long as the sun is blazing down on it. Be sure to keep yourself cool as you travel. Now we'll talk to everybody and see if there's any hints for anything. <laughs> All this stuff is fresh. Is it worth buying? I don't think so. Can I just talk to you? Hmm? Good day. <laughs> That's how you said where you're from, isn't it? Here we say Zavak. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh. Oh, she's a butcher in Gruotown. Town. She traveled all over, but so she knows your language pretty well. So you should stop by, and mm. of course you're a Vo, so you won't be able to get past the front gates. That's what you think. And yeah, there's that guy who says, like, ooh, treasure that way. Ooh, can have a coin effect when cooked. Ah. I'll take them all. I'll take it. <laughs> what a drag. <laughs> now I've got to go get more. Zavak. Zavak. Who are you? Uh, <laughs> you, you're a Vo, aren't you? I am. Why? Mm. Mm, no, I bet Mama would have a problem with a delicate Vo like oh. you. Oh, yes, I'm Ra Ronson. I hail from Grudo Town. Mm. This search for the love of my life, I'm so exhausted by it. Search? Uh, I don't know why I'm even saying this. It's no business of a Hylian like you, but... I'm constantly being bothered by my mother over not having found the love of my life. Kind of hard to find the love of your life when you outlaw men in your city. Hmm. <laughs> no male Gerudo. Oh. Exactly. Since it's so rare for a Vo to be born to a Gerudo, we seek out husbands from the world beyond Gerudo Town. I've proven myself to be a gifted tailor, but none of the Vo I've met seem to appreciate a well-hemmed garment. I was hoping my craft would help me find a mate, but it doesn't seem like there's much work for a tailor around here. I wonder if there's really someone out there for me. I wonder if it's some technically an unmarked quest. If I can help her find the dude. Oh. I'm watching the sandstorm. Want to join me? Sandstorm? Oh. Sandstorms are pretty common out in the desert. You get caught in one, we'll get lost for sure. But I hear that sandstorm over there will die down for a few hours each day, clearing a path. I want to visit the huge tower, but the sandstorm is in the way. So, I'll just sit here and wait for it to die down. Good luck to ya. <sighs> and we already helped that guy. Do they just have, like, one of each? Interesting. Oh. Hmm? Uh, oops, sorry. Vasak. <laughs> Let's see. I want to sell. Hmm? I've got things over. What do you mean that I can sell, like, certain things? Like, I guess I could technically buy them, but very odd that I can sell them. Especially these, because I don't think you can get them back. That's weird. I have a lot of luminous stones. Oh. I haven't looked at my inventory in forever. Hmm? Nope. Oh. Come back soon. Oh. Zavak. 
the divine beast, it feels like it gets close, a little bit closer every day. Mm. I wonder how long it'll be before I can get back to Gerudo Town. Divine beast? Mm. When I say divine beast, I'm talking about the giant thing roaming around the desert. It's been kicking up a bad sandstorm, and apparently it'll blast you with lightning if you get too close. The thought of getting zapped is terrifying. I can't risk go traveling to Gerudo Town. Gerudo Town? Oh. There's a town to the southwest made up almost entirely of Gerudo. It's the, strain it's the largest settlement in these parts. Again, I think it's the only settlement in these parts. It's got a lively market and a canteen. The town's active from morning to night. Mm. But, well, they have a rule that'll affect you. Guys aren't allowed in. No vo may enter, they say. Uh. Uh, we lost a lot of business ever since that divine beast started stomping out in the desert. The sound of the divine beast walking might be loud, but the beds are still comfy. Do you want to stay? A regular bed is 20, a soft bed is 40. What makes it soft? Uh -huh. The soft bed has been carefully crafted from cuckoo feathers. It's designed to leave you full of energy when you wake. Never mind. Ah, they have a, another little recipe thing for dessert. Kara mm. Kara Bazaar is brimming of Gerudo ladies. I get antsy just thinking about them. Say, speaking of fancy things, how about some restless crickets? The Emporium is open. Come on, come on. All the little bits of bobs you need to spice up your dishes. Oh. Yeah, you know, like arrows. Ah. Hmm. I forget if I went up there or not. Because I want to take a look around, see if there's anything around. Because I know that you need a disguise to get in. Maybe I need to actually head up to Gerudo Town, be rejected, and then that will begin the way in. Well, guess I'll try to make my way through. We can at least activate the shrine on our way by. <laughs> Imagine if Legend of Zelda had their own graboids from Tremors. You think you're safe, then nom. Get it. Or like if they had their own version of those like cactus dudes from Final Fantasy. You just walk by a cactus, it starts to strangle you. I beat you with a wooden sword. You'll hear wood sword. You'll never see the light of day again, even after you respawn. Darn. Mine. Trying to look and see what might be in here. Just like covered boxes and a treasure chest. Might as well kill. Aha! Missed! Now that pile of conspicuous sand could never try to stab me. He gobs! <laughs> So yeah, I have a very worn weapon. No. No. No, no. No. I do like that you actually have to catch it. It's just a night with just a little detail. Well, that's not what I want at all. Treasure be mine! That one took a bit more than I thought. Just <laughs> to pull out of the sand. Oh, there's another one left alive. Fight me, fiend! Fight me! Fight me! I lost my weapon. No! Oh, people will die now. 
I poke you repeatedly, and then you die. You know, you'd think that the Gerudo would at least, like, try to take back this outpost. Like, looking place. It would be, like, the perfect place to watch, like, Von the Boris. Quit dodging and go away. Get out of here. At least out here it kind of makes more sense for, like, skeletons to just pop up and be like, Yeah, I'm a skeleton, see? Rattle them, boys! Well, now I'm imagining, like, a crossbow made out of, like, uh, bones. <laughs> I wonder what would happen if I tried to, like, climb in. Just like, I'm gonna get in. They're like, you dare invade? Kick out. Yeah, how many of the diddly doos do I have? I'll keep that one on standby. Oh, it was so focused just now. Do you have any business with me? Are you spying? What? No, I'm not a spy. I'm a merchant. I may not look like it, but I'm actually the leader of a caravan. I've traveled all the way here, but this town doesn't allow men to go in, so that's why I had to... Are you spying? It's research! Research! And think what you want, but I finally found some key info on how to sneak into Gerudo Town. What info? <laughs> well, allow me to share with you my heroic tale. It's been close to a week now. The gods have kicked me out more times than I can count. Mm. I almost gave up hope. However, I have learned only recently of a man that slipped into this well-guarded town. I heard that man is frequently traveling between Karab, Karabazar, and Gerudo Town. I've been waiting here, trying to spot him as he travels. Interesting. You there, Gerudo, with long legs. Stop so I can talk to you. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's a vo. You can handle this. Deep breaths, Kira. Remember your training? First, you greet the vo like anyone else. Stop us up. Saba Saba, N nice to meet you. I'm Kira from the, the, from the Gerudo. I'm wandering the world, learning what I can and seeking my dreams. And I can tell just from looking at you, you have a place in my dreams, don't you? Did we meet with <laughs> reasons? <laughs> just a guy taking a walk. <laughs> oh, is that how going to be? Then I can stop wasting my time with you, Savork Traveler. Uh? You again, I'm on my personal journey of learning discovery. <laughs> Unless, do you think you're part of my destiny, my dream life? Well, let's see. You're my dream girl. Hmm. hmm. My Vabo is right about you, Vo. Dream girl. Nah, I don't have time to waste on you. Get out of here. There's apparently a guy that travels back and forth between Kara Kara Bazaar. In this place. Bob. I'll take that while I'm here. You're on your own, lady. <laughs> I wonder if there's any actual difference between different... Like, uh, on the map there, there's like a little, like, trail. And if, like, following it actually affects how you walk. I don't think so. We just gotta find the man. We just gotta find the man. The dude that looks like a lady. You think that the Gerudo could at least, like, set up a... a man pass. Pay, like, an ex like, a thousand rupees to get the man pass. And with the man pass, you are allowed in. And if you disturb the peace, you get kicked out and you don't get a refund on your man pass. It would be lucrative to the economy! Yeah, 
because there's just that guy who's constantly watching the sandstorm. <laughs> Surely it couldn't be Beetle. Saba, saba. Oh. The Divine Beast probably won't wander this far. Yeah, you're just patrolling instead of going that way. There's this merchant. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes. And many, many more than just one, to be sure. That's because all the Vo merchants are gathered here, hoping to get access to Gerudo Town. They refuse to give up, even though Vo are strictly forbidden from entering the town. Although, now that you mention it, one merchant in particular did stand out to me. I saw a Hylian Vi merchant at the inn before. She was wearing traditional Gerudo clothes, which caught my, eye, caught, up, crack, caught my eye. She's probably still around. That divine beast is scaring a lot of people out of traveling. Oh. If there's anything else you'd like to ask, feel free. I'm on my watch by uh, I'm on watch by myself every day, so it's nice to have someone to talk to. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Ah. Yep, I did know that. It'll be fine as long as you're in Karakara Bazaar, but it can get really chilly the farther away you wander. I wonder why that is. If this is just like well done, a Hylian Vi though. Was at the inn here, but doesn't appear to be here. Mm, so maybe I need to talk to the innkeeper. Uh. Nope, maybe talk to you. Uh. Mm. See anybody? Uh. What about you? Vasak. Huh, seen a sneaky guy. A sneaky what? You mean a vo sneaking around town? I haven't seen anyone like that. There's a Hylian Vi who likes to relax on the roof, though, in the afternoon. It's probably too hot up there. Hmm? I shall go. So, since it's at night, it might be a good time to go up there. If it's too hot in the afternoon... Up we go. Up we go. Gotta say, nice outfit. Mm. Mm, oh my, what a lovely young lad you are. Do you need something from me? Mm. What's that? You've heard about a man who snuck into Gerudo Town. Oh. I don't know anything about him. Sorry I couldn't help you more. <laughs> mm, squint suspiciously. <laughs> Especially from the side, I can see your beard. At least I think that's your beard. Maybe it's makeup. Mm. <laughs> You're making my cheeks warm looking at me at like that. I do kind of feel bad of the accusation. Mm. Oh my, you should say the funniest things, young man. Anyway, if you don't need anything, you should be off then. Oh. <laughs> you still haven't given up on your search for the man who snuck into Gerudo Town. I told you I didn't know anything, so what's the word? Uh, do you always doubt someone's word? Ah. Well, fine. You're very beautiful. Mm. Oh, such a nice thing to say, and I'm sure you'd agree if these clothes only help my looks right. Now that I think about it, this style would look quite fetching on you. I'd have to charge you, of course, but I bet people would see uh, would you completely differently if you wore them. What do you think? Do you want to buy them for 600 rupees? I have the money. I'll take them. Oh. It's a deal, then. I'll take your rupees now. Mmm. <laughs> I have the perfect outfit for you. Go ahead and change into it right now. Don't worry, I'll look away. <laughs> we have to get the full experience. The full turnaround. <laughs> you look adorable. Oh. <laughs> Just as I thought, you make for quite a good looking gal. That's a traditional Gerudo outfit. It's such a striking look around here, I doubt anyone would even suspect that you're a man. On top of that, it breathes so well that it's sure to help you deal with the desert heat, at least a little. Oh. I'm so glad I was able to help you out. <laughs> if you're free to grab something to eat sometime, keep me in mind. Oh. Oh. Really, the most surprising thing is that your beard isn't red like your hair. <laughs> Make sure you watch out for the wind. <sighs> mm. If you want to get more ladies' clothing, come back any time. 
Now no one will suspect a thing. Hello there, dude. Darn it, I'll make sure to get into Gerudo. Even if it means dressing like a woman, no matter what. You know, now I wonder how oasises actually exist. If they're like... Places of, uh, blah, blah, blah. Like water in the middle of, middle of the desert. Hmm? Well, well. You're the second Hylian I've seen wearing Gerudo-style clothing. The other one looked much more Gerudo, though, if I'm being honest. Not that it doesn't look good on you, too. I didn't realize that Gerudo clothing was so popular among Hylians. Well, it's starting to. Before you know it, every single Hylian will be wearing Gerudo fashion. Now I'm imagining, like, a Goron or, like, a Rito wearing this be amusing. I wonder if, like, you can upgrade them. Like, maybe. Why are you running? Oh, but now it's super cold out, so I'm gonna be taking cold damage. Sava Sava. Sava Sava. Eh? Pretty clothes. You don't see my, in my kins... Yeah. You don't see my kins women wearing that style often. I bet it drives Vo out in the world wild. I'm at the perfect age to travel and see what the world holds myself, but I've barely explored this desert. Mm. Adventures won't come and find me, I know. I have to put myself out there. I like staying around the familiar, I guess. You, though, you should see the world, meet new people. Maybe you'll meet a nice Vo. Zavok Traveler. Because <laughs> <laughs> I can just teleport back, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can upgrade these at Kakariko Village. <laughs> now I wonder, like, which is uh, the better Gerudo-like infiltration thing. Ocarina's times where you kind of sort of beat them all up. Or this one. Where you dress up. I really should try to sneak up on them and beat them up. Let's see, will we even have any of the materials to upgrade these? Because I want to see if there's like a, a set bonus to these. Ah. Mm. Enhance away, or if these even can be. Nope, ah, interesting, they cannot be enhanced. Aww. That's kind of interesting. <laughs> Uh, might as well teleport all the way in and start talking. Onwards we go. I swear the... Like, early morning lighting always makes it feel like it's more, like, day than it is. Eh? Yeah, yeah! That lovely young lady is just my type. Still spying? Oh. But what? No, of course not! I I'm just investigating! Oh. Hmm, this exchange feels incredibly familiar to me. Saba Saba, we don't get a lot of Hylian Vi around here. Welcome to Gerudo Town. It is an tr old tradition here that only Vi are allowed within the walls. Vo are strictly forbidden. Hmm. Vo? Oh. Vo is the word in Gerudo language that means man. 
There are many other Gerudo words that it would... And it would help to learn them if you plan on entering Gerudo Town. <laughs> but you should at least remember Vo and Vi. Vi is a word in the Gerudo language that means woman. And then just the same thing. <laughs> well, goodbye. Ooh. Here's a tip. If you stop by the canteen, do yourself a favor and order a noble pursuit. It's hands down the best drink I've ever had. And what about you? This is Gerudo Town, Hyrule's largest trade hub. Only Vi are permitted in truth in the walls, and we're constantly on alert for anyone who looks suspicious. <laughs> Sorry, Vi? Uh? Not Vi, Vi. Bite your bottom lip as you say it. It translates to woman in your language. So long as we're on the subject, Vo is our word for man. If you plan to stay a while, you do well to learn the language. Oh, we already talked to you. You just constantly go back and forth between the bazaar and this place, don't you? If we got rid of the law keeping Vo out of Gerudo Town, they would come to town with tales of their mm. adventures. Then again, the younger Vi liked that law. It gives them an excuse to get out and see the world, you know? Sava, Sava. I do like how many, like, different, like, line readings of Sava Saba there are. It just, you, it's just kind of nice. Even with the divine beast out there making a fuss, a little Vi like you just strolls into town. You've done well to make it to Gerudo Town. The chief keeps saying that everything is going to be okay, but thinking about the Divine Beast makes me so uneasy. The chief? Uh -huh. This town is led by our fantastic chief, Lady Riju. She became chief after her mother, her old chief, passed away. Though young, Lady Riju was our old chief's only child, so naturally the duties of leading the Gerudo fell to her. There have been other troubles on top of the Divine Beast acting violently. I heard has the chief and her advisors pretty worried. Mm. You crossed the Gerudo Desert to get here, right? So you must have seen the giant walking around mm. outside. It appeared suddenly a few weeks ago. It's a daunting sight. If you get too close to it, it'll lash out if, at you with lightning. I can't imagine what it would happen if it came to town. The chief says that thing used to be a god who protected this area around a hundred years ago. But that story sounds too crazy to believe, don't you think? I need to think on it. Oh. Well, I'll just try to keep my spirits up. Maybe visit the canteen to then get a good night's sleep. Hylian Vi, huh? Saba Saba. Oh. My Vaba often said to never eat a hearty durian while drinking. I don't really know why, but since she said so much, there must be a good reason. Saba Saba. Mm. Great, you got the last of my free time with that greeting. What's the matter? I manage mm. a shop that specializes in handmade accessories, but I've run out of flint I need to make to my items. If only I had ten. Just ten... If some kind Vi would give me ten pieces of flint, I would offer a nice reward. Mm. I can dream all I want, though. Nothing goes that smoothly in the real world. I use rubies, sapphires, and other gems to make accessories. Each gem type has its own power that can transfer to whoever wears it. Mm. There's nothing I can do about it, not having any flint, though. I do like that there's kind of trade mm. quests in the various places. I'm sorry that you came all the way to see me for nothing. I wonder if I'll be able to work of a kind, generous Vi who would be able to give me ten pieces of flint. Here's some flint! Hmm? Uh? <laughs> what? You're just giving these to me? <laughs> yep. Suck so. But I can't take all this from you with just a suck so. We hardly know each other and you've been so nice. Mm. The shop's been closed so long I hardly have any inventory. Oh. Of course. Now that I have some flint, I could make a jeweled accessory. For you if you're interested in something. But I don't know which one's which. Let's see. Rubies have the power to grant cold resistance. Hmm. I want to check out the other ones. Oh, no, darn. Cold resistance. What about sapphire? Grant heat resistance. But then what about topaz? Electric resistance. Hmm. I'm trying to think, though. Because I technically have, like, cold and heat resistance. So I guess electricity resistance must be nice. Because... 
we have the Rito outfit for cold resistance, and we have the, well, this garb for, like, some heat resistance, not fire resistance, but at least for the desert. So I think the topaz earrings are the way to go. <laughs> I thought you might pick that one. Please give me a moment. Brand new. Especially for you. I think it turned out really well. Ma. Thanks to you, I got the shop running again. So if you ever need an accessory, please come by for a special discount. Just don't tell my other customers, okay? Ma. And then here's like... Hmm. Interesting, they're like a different color. That's kind of neat. But why would, how would I even buy them when they're just like right here? Also, why do you have to hurry? Why is everyone rushing in this town? Ah, you're renting sand seals. That old lady. Savo. What's a Vo doing here? How do you know? Surprised? You might be able to fool all the other Vi around here, but you won't fool me so easy. Don't worry, though. It doesn't matter much to me what you do, but since you came all the way back here, maybe you'd like to stay and chat. Got a statue? Oh. oh, the goddess statue has been here since long before I was even born. No one here really believes in that stuff anymore, though, so they tend to avoid stopping here. Kind of like they avoid me. But someone has to keep the goddess statue company, so here I am. <laughs> it's such a treat to chat with Vo again. Will you all humor me a bit longer? Mm. Oh, oh, I may not look it now, but I was quite the traveler when I was young. Quite a beauty, too. It is a rare thing for a Vo not to notice me come into a room. But I had a fairy tale notion in mind. I'd heard of Lover's Pond, and I thought I'd meet my true love there. I traveled all across Hyrule searching for this fabled place, but I couldn't find it. Oh. And before I knew it, I'd grown old. The Vo no longer turned when I walked in. Oh, don't look so sad. I stopped being sad about it a long time ago, and I chased my dreams. <laughs> well, goodbye. Oh. Just live your life to the fullest, little Vo. I do like that they put so much, like, little details these various oh. places. Huh. Uh, G. Oh. Q. Oh? A. Mm? Go drink milk in the bar or something. <laughs> the secret club secret. It's so secret that it's in the name. <laughs> Why do you have a stick man? Oh. Uh, hello, my name is Risa. My favorite food is the salted rice balls my Vaba likes to make. I've gotten very good at making them, too. People say they're almost as good as hers, even. Mm. Wait, I should say grandmother, not Vaba. And maybe not almost as good. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Oh. Hey, what are you doing coming in here? <laughs> it's really rude to just barge in. What, I'm practicing for getting a job at a restaurant, obviously. <laughs> I don't think you need a, like, skeleton man. Oh, I guess they do just like Goron's in. You. Uh, Sabata? What was it? I can't tell. <sighs> Apparently, you really have to bite your lip to get that V sound out clearly. A little kid made fun of me yesterday for not being able to get the pronunciation right. I don't know why, but it sounds the same to me no matter what I do. Oh, hey, Arito. Ah. Good morning. I really want to use the actual Gerudo greeting. Zavota. You know, Zavota. But I'm afraid I'd mess it up and embarrass myself. Uh. You know, like, look at me, I can speak another language. It just feels like bragging. <laughs> I'd say, I understand. Mm -hmm. You get many visitors where you're from? Gerudo Town is so different from my home. I live in Rito Village. We don't get many visitors there, so I'm not really familiar with non Rito. But now that I'm here, I should enjoy myself. I wanted to start by trying out some of the some of the meat here, but well, they don't seem to have poultry. <laughs> well, at least that explains my pondering before. 
that the Rito do indeed eat bird. Which is kind of funny. Then again, I guess normal birds eat birds. What's this? Chef Ari Tamu. Hmm. Extraordinary elixirs. You can cook up an elixir by mixing bug part, monster part together. Elixirs can be made in pots. Yep. Acorn, chikalu, nuts impart your elixir of minor healing properties. That's kind of cool. However, I, Ari Tamu, am definitely afraid of insects and would never even think of touching them. That's funny. So what is this? A book club? People really crave home cooking, huh? Rather than designing an elaborate meal, it's something better to make something quick using a few homemade ingredients. Uh, I should really write that down. Savota. Savota? This class is absolutely critical for me. I've tried to cook up some great meals, but I've only ever made dubious food. Dubious food? Mm. When you're cooking, if you add insects or monster materials, you end up with dubious mm. food. But if you ask me, there's nothing dubious about how absolutely inedible it is. Savota. Hello. Mm. Oh, are you interested in taking my class, Vo and you? I'm a shy. During the day, I teach a class on the Vo of the world, and at night, I teach cooking classes. <laughs> Why don't you join us? That's neat. I do find it kind of funny that, like, Zora's Domain and, like, even this place seem to have, like, a decent, like, which the word? Like, I don't know, like, uh, some depth to them. Like, Zora's Domain has the depth of, like, the history between Link and the Zora. This place ha seems to have, like, a decent depth to it. Ah. Oh, are you here because you heard of the rumors about Roma, too? I heard that she has a special technique that will uh, make you feel more relaxed than you have ever felt in your life. Aww. But nobody said the wait was going to be this long. I feel like I'll never know what relaxation is ever again. Yeah, I'm so annoyed. Well, are you just going to stand there, or are you getting in line? <laughs> it was great! You're lying. <laughs> the desert dry heat and all the sun you've gotten has completely dried out your skin. Rumors say that part of Roma's special skills will leave people and feeling moisturized to perfection. I can't stand when people lie. Grr. <laughs> okay, I'm fine now. If I get angry, I'll create wrinkles between my eyebrows. What? Don't make me angry! <laughs> oh, we have quest. I'll take quest. Zavolta. I, I finally found the Vo of my dreams. I just recently married him. I thought I'd finally found happiness, but then my husband fell ill with a rare disease, one difficult to cure. The only thing that can save him is innards of a Molduga. But if I, I would never be able to take down such a creature myself. I asked the soldiers for help, but they said they have serious issues to deal with. They said they had no time for my plight. They turned me away. But then why wouldn't they? The Malduga is a menacing beast. None who face one escape unscathed. So perhaps it's foolish to expect anyone to stick out their neck for a stranger. Mm. I thought I'd finally gotten out of this town. Never thought I'd have to come crawling back. Malduga? <sighs> the Malduga is a monster. A terror so savage that even other monsters won't approach it. It's often been spotted west of here in the Torma Dunes in the south. It's very sensitive to vibrations, and it tends to attack anything that draws near. Ah, so it is a tremors of a <sighs> graboid. You can't approach it or even move near it, and you can't use someone as bait. So what am I to do? Is it you can't use people as bait a... Like a... A moral thing, or just... <laughs> like, you literally can't? What is it? I feel like I've met you before, but I can't recall any alien acquaintances. Especially since I've only ever served in the palace. I never even set foot beyond the town's walls. I thought I could relax at last now that Bulleria has come of age, but then something like this happens. I'm retired now, though, so there isn't anything I can do about it. What happened? Ah. A little while ago, a gang of thieves slipped into the palace and stole the chief's heirloom, the Thunderhelm. It's bad enough to be robbed in general, but for the object stone to be a valued heirloom belonging to our own chief. If it was still in ch if I was still in charge, any guard who failed to catch those thieves would be doing some serious manual labor. 
And then they'd get be thrown back into training all the way from the beginning. No exceptions. I mean, while you're just back here, relaxing. <laughs> What's the rumor? <laughs> oh, I was going to tell you. I finally got my hands on the password for you know where. Mm. Seriously? Wow. That place is a little crazy, isn't it? Uh. Maybe, but I'm not. I'm really interested. <laughs> Anyway, the password is... Oh. Wait a second. Eh? You? Did you really think we wouldn't see you standing there listening to our conversation? So rude. This is a private conversation. Go away. I'll need to find a way to sneak in. Vasak. Vasak. Oh, are you a Hylian Vi? We don't see too many of you. I can't tell how old you are, but you look a little young to be coming to my shop. You see, we make special drinks here. Drinks that are definitely just for adults. Uh, special drinks? Mm. Well, a big part of the drink is the ice we use from the ice house. It makes them especially refreshing. Well, you're too little to be that, but eh? <laughs> Recommendations? Oh. Our featured cocktail is called Noble Pursuit. Many of our customers come here specifically to order it. The light, sweet taste, the cool sensation from each sip is like drinking distilled motivation. <laughs> How about milk? Uh. Milk? We don't carry anything as childish as milk here. Did Greta tell you to come here and ask that? That store clerk is just playing a prank mm. on you. Good grief. Doesn't she have anything better to do with her time? She's always been so secretive about her shop, but hiding something just makes young people more interested. <laughs> well, goodbye. I haven't seen Polky lately. She used to come by every day to drink a noble pursuit, ah. too. I'm sorry. I don't know I'm even telling you this. But if I listen in from above. Because at least that's what I would assume. That doesn't seem to be. <laughs> or maybe I have to... No idea how to sneak that conversation. But I think that that shall be it for now. We've been going for a decent while. We finally got here. And uh, next time we can begin by like talking to a few other people and head into the palace. That was fun. We managed to do the Korok Trials, which was simpler than I thought. Do one part of the Sword Trial, which is nice. Now our Master Sword is a bit stronger. And then next time we can try to get the Helm back, probably, if any of the quests will be related to attacking the Thieves. And then maybe uh, get Von Naboris under control. But uh, that shall be it for now. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, I try to stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. And if you want other things from me in the descriptions, bios, and link places of the various sites, there are links to my blah, 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 link tree. Link to yr.ee slash neoniceweeks. That has links to everything that I do like an edited content YouTube channel, streaming Twitch, streaming YouTube, depending on your preference, with all of these streams being uploaded to that streaming YouTube channel for just better quality, since I record locally and then upload them after the fact. And then, if you want other things, other things, I also upload art, like my little character in the corner, to various sites and uh, social medias, art sites, as well as a... Uh, you know, like the art of my insulate. Just, I need to draw more. I have been drawing more. Drawing is fun, but also atta brain attacks me for it. And then other places, I upload writing that I do, because writing is fun. And finally, in my link tree is a link to my Patreon, which is basically a big old, big old, ba ba ba, donation bucket for the extraordinarily kind. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Just remember. Be you, be true, be happy, but most importantly, 
Be kind and stay hydrated, and thank you for spending your time with me. Bye, bye. Thank you.